Our next step on this is to get the lacquer on the guitar. We're also gonna oil the fretboard. Um, before we do that, let's go ahead and do one last final sanding on that. And we're gonna sand the entire thing. The front of the guitar, the sides, the back, everything just as we've been handling the guitar and putting it all together there might be fingerprints there might be glue smudges pencil marks other things let's just do a real quick final final sanding and you're going to want to use some 220 grit sandpaper for this process here there also might be some spots that you might need to fill in with wood filler maybe if there's any small gouges or maybe on your binding if there's a little gap in the binding or other places there's some filler we can do for that so we'll do some black binding filler on any gaps on the binding and then other wood filler if there's any gaps on the guitar at all okay in order to fill some of these spots here especially maybe where the binding had some little gaps or things like that. We're gonna make our own little filler. And what you can do this, if you just get a little scrap piece of that binding, and then just get yourself a little cabinet scraper and just scrape off some shavings. So you just kind of make some shavings. And I had thrown them in a cup, I did this already, but I just threw them in a cup and then added a little bit of acetone. And it kind of just melts that shavings there. And you can just take that and stir it up and then just take a little stick or something and then just apply it into the little gaps and holes on your guitar and then that'll fill in those it'll dry up and you can sand it over so you just get a little bit on there and just kind of dab it right into the little gaps and cracks and then that acetone again has just kind of melted it we can just fill in any small little gaps, cracks, anywhere where that binding might have a little gap. Now for other parts, we'll just use regular wood filler if there's anything else that we wanna fill in on here. It just takes a few minutes for that mixture of that to dry and you'll sand it. Again, we're just filling in anywhere there might be a small little gap or crack where that binding was at. Okay, so again, you can just use regular wood filler on any other spots that might need to be filled in. Let it dry and then we'll sand it up. If you don't have the wood filler type, you can just make your own. So that back is made out of African mahogany and I don't have African mahogany wood, wood filler. So I just got some sawdust made from a scrap piece of mahogany. And we'll get some glue and we'll just mix the sawdust and glue together and just make our own wood filler. You can just kind of spread it around, stir it all up, add a little bit more sawdust if you need to. And we want this to be basically the consistency of peanut butter. It's kind of a good texture or consistency that you're going for. And so if you need to add more sawdust, you can add more sawdust. Okay, so once we've got that, about the consistency of peanut butter again, you can just use that as its wood filler. Press that out into those little gaps, cracks, holes, and any defects you might have. And we'll let it dry and then again, just sand it off. Okay, now that all the wood filler is dried and everything, we'll go ahead and just do our final, final sanding on this, cleaning all that up and then we'll get ready for lacquer. Okay, we just did our final sanding and blew all the dust off the air hose. Before we lacquer this, we're gonna go ahead and cover up our fretboard with some tape. We're also gonna cover up the bridge. One thing you have to be sure of when you're taping this off is that you don't accidentally cover up any part that needs to get lacquered. So for example, on the fretboard here, we wanna make sure that you're only covering that 
rosewood, which is the, the fretboard. Don't cover up any of our actual African mahogany neck there and the bridge as well. So we just get it right up to the edge and just get this covered up. Okay, we're just adding the last few bits of tape on here. Again, we're just gonna make sure we cover only the fretboard and also that entire bridge, just all the way around. You're welcome to cover the nut bone with tape if you want. It's not a problem if we lacquer over the nut bone. So take your time with this taping. We just wanna make sure it's covered really well, right up to that edge, all the way around. Okay, it's all ready for lacquer now. Got it all taped off. One thing I like to do before I lacquer this is just take some kind of paper or something and shove it into that sound hole just to cover up inside so no lacquer gets on the inside of the guitar. And then we'll take it over and spray it with some lacquer. Okay, we're gonna spray the front first. and I make sure I rest on the little nail boards right on the bridge there. And then we'll spray the back side. that dry about 15 20 minutes scuff it with some light sandpaper and then we'll do a total of probably three coats of lacquer on this so just take one of those scuff pads and again this is after it's dry you'll notice the lacquer is a little bit rough that first coat so you'll just press pretty hard when you're sanding this Get it all smoothed up everywhere. If you see any like little white dusty stuff, that'll come off when we spray the second coat of lacquer on here. Hit the whole thing anywhere where there's lacquer. And we'll spray another coat of lacquer on it. After that second coat of lacquer is dry, if it is not rough at all, you, you don't really need to scuff it, but if there's some small little rough spots, you know, you can go ahead and hit it with that scuff pad again, just if needed. And so, mostly just kind of feel, if it feels a little rough, just hit it again. We'll go ahead and get one last final coat of lacquer on this. We just did our final coat of lacquer on this. It's all finished up. And one thing I would be careful of anytime you're working with your guitar now is just to make sure you have some carpet or something soft underneath it so we don't scratch it up. Um, go ahead and take out the paper on the inside. And we'll carefully also remove all the tape. Okay, we got all the tape off that fretboard. Now what we're gonna do is just take a little cloth and some mineral oil or other kind of oil that you wanna use for getting that fretboard all oiled up as well. And so just put a little bit on the rag and we'll just kind of work it in all over that fretboard. Oiling it up. And make sure you also get the edges where that meets on the edge there. One or two coats of this is plenty. That grain really starts to pop once you get that oil on there. This is a Indian rosewood 
That's what this fretboard is made out of, and it really looks nice with that wheel on there. You can also put some oil on your bridge here as well. Just get that oiled up, make it look really nice and shiny. Let that soak in, and we've got our guitar all lacquered and oiled. Next step is just getting the strings attached with our tuning pegs, getting the bridge and saddle, the pins and all that, and then finishing it up.